All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So this is probably my most requested bodybuilder video on a single individual bodybuilder. Um, so this video is going to be on Tom Platts, a.k.a. the Quad Father, a.k.a. the Golden Eagle. So recently, Tom Platts has become a little bit more relevant and a little bit more famous because of his affiliation with a company by the name of Golden Aesthetics. So Golden Aesthetics is the company started by... Uh, guy named Artemis Dolgan. So basically the goal of this company is to bring a kind of clothing that they wore back in the day in the 70s and 80s and kind of bring back the golden era of bodybuilding. And essentially Tom Platts is one of the faces of their company and one of the faces of one of their lines. So for those of you youngsters who don't know who Tom Platts is, he was a bodybuilder from the 1970s and the 1980s, who obviously, if you're looking at pictures of him right now, you can tell he was famous for his leg development, especially his quads and his hamstrings. His most notable win in a bodybuilding competition was the 1980 Mr. Universe competition, but probably his most notorious competition that he ever competed in was the 1981 Mr. Olympia competition. So in 1981, he placed third at that year's Olympia. So a lot of you guys probably saw my video on the 1981 Olympia. A lot of people thought the results of this Olympia were controversial. Um, so in that year's Olympia, Franco Colombo took home the title. And basically that was controversial because for, for one, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was Franco Colombo's best friend, was actually promoting the show. He was promoting the Olympia that year. And he obviously had friends on the judging panel. And for two, Franco was coming off of a very long hiatus. He came out of retirement to come back and do the 1981 Olympia. And he was coming off of a very bad knee injury that he suffered um, during the World's Strongest Man competition, which basically was one of the reasons his legs did not look as good as they should have looked in 1981. It's also important to remember that 1981 was the year after the most controversial Olympia of all time, which was the 1980 Mr. Olympia which is the year that Arnold came out of retirement and won that year's Olympia. And a lot of people did not like that. Um, so in fact, several bodybuilders boycotted and did not attend the 1981 Olympia. So again, the 1981 third place placing of Tom Platts, a lot of people will say is his most notorious placing because there's a lot of people out there who believe that Tom Platts should have won that show. And in a lot of people's minds, Tom Platts did win that show, regardless of how the judges placed them. So again, Franco won, Chris Dickerson came in second, Tom Platts came in third, and in fifth place is another guy that's associated with Golden Aesthetics, and that is Danny Padilla, and he also believes that he was robbed at the 1981 Mr. Olympia competition. So both of those guys are now affiliated with Golden Aesthetics, and both of them were basically uh, made pretty famous from that 1981 Olympia. So I, I believe it was between Danny Padilla, Tom Platts, but neither of those two guys were even in the top two, so I think that was a very controversial decision. So in addition to the 1981 Olympia, he is also famous for a famous squat-off competition that he had with Dr. Fred Hatfield, who has now passed away. I'll probably be doing a video on Fred Hatfield in the future because he's a very interesting guy and he had a very interesting life. Um, but this famous squat-off I'm showing you a video from right now. Um, so in this video, Tom Platts is squatting 525 pounds for 23 reps. And Dr. Fred Hatfield, who also attempted uh, the same weight for reps, only got 11 reps. But when they did a one rep max, Tom only squatted in the 600s and Fred Hatfield squatted somewhere in the 800s. So it's important to note that in this video, it, Tom is wearing some sort of power suit. So in the early days of powerlifting, there was this thing called equipped lifting for those of you guys who aren't too familiar with powerlifting. And basically, powerlifters could wear some, some type of clothing, some type of shirt for bench press, and some types of suits for squat that would make the lift itself easier just because of the way that the suit kind of compresses on the body and the way that it makes you move when you do the lift. So definitely he's wearing some kind of power pants or something when he's doing these squats. So you got to keep that in mind when you're watching this video, but still a very impressive feat. And this is one of the things he's most famous for is his ability to squat crazy amounts of weight for crazy amounts of reps. So another thing that he was famous for was this infamous moon pose. So basically this is a pose on stage where he's basically bending over to show off his hamstring separation. Um, and this is a pose that has since been banned from competition. So no one can use this pose anymore. And Tom Platts is basically the guy that made it famous because his was so incredible. 
obviously judging from that squat competition with Fred Hatfield, he was a very good squatter and he obviously liked to squat in the gym. Um, he said that when he got started in bodybuilding, the, you know, the squat rack was in the back of the gym and no one was ever using it. He was one of the only guys that would come to the gym and just make a beeline for the squat rack and that would be a, you know, a big majority of his leg workout. So he was known for doing about eight to 10 sets of squats every workout, eight to 20 reps, and he was known to work up to at least 635 pounds um, in the gym which according to him was a rare thing for people to squat and also squat heavy back in the 70s and 80s. He said a lot of people just didn't do it because they were afraid of making their, their glutes too big. Um, so he was one of the few guys that actually did it and it definitely paid off because he will forever be remembered um, for his incredible leg development. So his stats in the 1970s and 80s, he was five foot eight. Um, his competition weight was anywhere between 225 and 235 pounds and his thighs measured about 31 inches. So he was, he was voted by Flex Magazine, I believe, at one point to have the best quad and hamstring development of all time of any bodybuilder. He was featured in a couple small movies after his bodybuilding career, so he briefly did try to pursue a career in acting. Um, he is currently still married to his wife, Cha Platts, whom he married in the year 2000. And obviously, he is still alive today at the age of 61 and currently working on promoting his line of clothing with Golden Aesthetics. I believe his line of clothing is called the Golden Eagle. So I hope you enjoyed this video on Tom Platts. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.